Merry Christmas, everyone! Today is finally Christmas. We're finally celebrating the day that Jesus was born and to help us visualize what that's like. Here's a newborn. All right, guys, yeah, three months now, but. Um, uh, I want to start off today's devotional just by reading uh, the scripture that we have from our devo today. So, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. For a child will be born for us, a son will be given to us, and the government will be on his shoulders. He will be named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. I think we have a tendency to want to make Christmas every year something different and special to keep it fresh. Uh, but what we need to understand is that Christmas is about the birth of Jesus and the coming hope that Christ is, not him, but our Lord Jesus. Uh, I think this year we have a tendency to only focus on what we didn't get to do or on what we lost in 2020. And the wonderful thing about the Christmas story is that God promises and ensures that we actually miss out on nothing and that the best of our lives, the best experiences we have yet to come. And this isn't just going to be consolation over what we didn't get in 2020 or whatever you don't whatever you feel like you don't get fulfilled in your life, um, nothing will actually come close to what we will experience with our Lord, with our God. And when we have when we have a tendency to doubt whether or not that gets to happen, there's that saying of, if you're going to do something right, you got to do it yourself. And the gospel is to that extreme uh, where God himself carries it out. That promise that nothing is wasted, that promise that we miss out on nothing, we can be sure of that promise because God fulfills that promise himself. Today, he sent us his one and only son to die on the cross for us. Today, he, the divine God, came down in the flesh to ensure himself that we will get to experience that gospel promise. And now, we live forever in the promise of a purposeful, fulfilled, saved life in the gospel. That's the good news. That's why we celebrate Christmas. So today, uh, I just want to encourage you, let's celebrate that day today with our loved ones. Let's pray to him. Let's thank our Lord with, within our families, within our own prayer closets, by ourselves, by our bedsides. Let's praise the Lord. Today is the day our Savior is born. Merry Christmas, everyone. We love you guys, and thank you all. Good night. Bye. Bye.